What's going on guys? We are back once again and we are going to be talking about Halo the season finale episode 9 and the renewal for the show as well. If you guys are unaware, if you guys did not watch the season finale and I know this is late so I do apologize for that. I've had other things going on. So without further ado, this is going to be my review of not only the season 1 but my thoughts for season 2 as well as for my thoughts on episode 9 as a whole because again, I... You guys should already know by now, if you already don't, that there's been a lot of problems with this show. A lot of people have been saying about that. And again, if you enjoy it, that's perfectly fine. But at the same time, it is trash on a lot of levels. But this last episode, actually, I would say was good to a very certain degree. Now, the entirety of this episode is them trying to get the Keystones back and them trying to stop Halsey after the silver team finally agrees with john to stop halsey as well as also realize that it's because of halsey that they've lost all their memories they don't know who they are and even uh kai you know she kept saying that you know you guys don't remember and she actually gets on board for where halsey's trying to take off and she has uh no choice but to stop the plane from going down and then once that happens she comes very close to dying but she lives halsey gets away and then she does get arrested later on but we do see where she talks to her daughter but then gets later revealed that it was a clone not the actual dr halsey which again i already had a feeling that she wasn't going to be captured that easy because again dr halsey if you guys don't already know she's very smart very uh not just narcissistic but also she's very manipulative she's also has her fingers in almost everything so she's going to be able to escape the clutches of the unsc for only so long but right now i do believe that she's going to be in hiding so she can do whatever to find out more about the halo rings slash more about uh, to make other spartans now one thing i will say about this episode was when we had the uh, revelation of not only Silver Team going to go after the rings and then go find McKee and everyone. I was kind of shocked that we actually got to see a hell of a fight. When we got to see this, uh, I did not think this was going to be that good of a fight. The fight actually was not bad. I liked how uh, they were able to show us the player perspective like we got to do all ways in Halo. And some of the things like when they jumped out of the Pelican and we got to see how all of them we're fighting and we got to see the first point of view from the gun like we always got to see in halo and then we also got to see of course master chief finally kick ass finally and then he goes right back into i would say shutdown mode after mckee she opens up the artifact and we see they're back on halo and then to stop her kai has to shoot her to wake up chief and be able to go through uh, to wake him up and after Silver Team is down trying to hold off the massive amounts of elites that came through because again this is the first time I think we've seen this amount of elites in a not only a show but a game as well because I think in Halo Wars 1 or 2 and then also I would say in uh, a couple other scenes but seeing that many Zealot class uh, Elites was quite a few because I'm not sure if they was on St. Helios or they were on somewhere else again you got to see the Covenant Slash the Helios uh, species in the area for where they were. I think as a whole, I think as a whole that we are getting a little bit of better Halo, but at the same time, it wasn't as good as what probably people believed because I know a lot of people either hate certain characters or love certain characters but i will say to a certain degree it was actually badass when we got to see that fight scene i will say that and then the thing that we was able to save the team and be able to get the artifact is john gave himself up so he could be able to have cortana to allow cortana to have control over him because he even said there's no way we can save the team and be able to get the uh the you know the keystones and she even says that you know i'm not sure if i'm going to be able to bring you back and he says i trust you and then finally when he gets knocked out she takes over and we actually got to see the master chief that i know a lot of people including myself have been wanting to see all freaking season the master chief that i know we deserve not the bs that they start out with but the 
but the Master Chief that we all know and love from the games. And it's kind of interesting how Cortana had to take over just so that way we could see the Master Chief that we all know. Again, that does not talk much, only talks when he needs to, does not take off his helmet when he unless he needs to, and only has conversations with ones that he needs to. Again, this is the Halo that we need to have, and now that it's gotten renewed, will it get better? Who knows? Are they going to be more woke with it? Who knows? Are they going to be more, oh, we need to do this just because of two pieces phantom no i don't know because again they need to be better with the phantom they need to be more respectful with the fandom and they need to understand that us as fans know more about this than the actual creators of this damn show the fans know more about it since again the creators was not i would say smart enough or had the gall to be able to say hey guess what we need to look at um gameplay and we need to play the games and we need to understand the story rather than pulling something out of our ass and again i'm going to say that no matter how many times the relationship between Chief and McKee was absolutely unnecessary. The uh, development with some of the Spartans was great. The, uh, I would say, again, I just, I don't know. I, I, I don't know. I mean, everyone's like, oh, be more patient, be this, be that. Again, to those of you that think you know Halo and, and you know, again, you want to, oh, you know, oh, be more patient. Dude, it pissed a lot of people off. And I think, I don't know if people understand that. It pissed people off because, again, of how woke this show was and how woke it still is. And they need to fix that because if they don't, then they're going to lose more audience members. And, again, I'm shocked that this show got picked up for another season. I'm beyond shocked. I am... I honestly was hoping that it would not get picked up. Maybe that with all the backlash that this show has gotten, maybe it'll help show, hey, guess what? You need to listen to the fans, and you need to screw off with what you're doing because if you don't, then you're going to lose more money. And, you're gonna, and, and again, it's not a hit. It's not. Some cases, yeah, it is, and there's things about this show that I absolutely like, and there's, shows, and there's stuff about this show I absolutely despise. But, again... What do you guys think about this? It's been picked up for another season. Maybe it can be improved. Maybe they can actually stop, you know, doing the BS. And I'm going to tell you this right now. Anyone wants to try to say, oh, well, Spartans are stupid. No, they are not stupid. But at the same time, I do understand why people were saying crap about the whole, oh, why didn't he kill the prophets? Again, they were heaven above him. Again, he could. Or Cortana could. But at the same time, the main source was trying to protect silver team as well as be able to get the keystone so again i understand the reason why they probably did not have it wrote in that oh he killed them because of the way everything is going as of right now so again i don't know but i do believe that they need to have more i would say better writing but again i do understand they want to probably save the profits and try to be a little I would say on point with the story due to the Halo War because again none of them started really dying until Halo 2 and Halo 3. So again, those are just my thoughts on that. But again, if you guys enjoy the show, enjoy the show. If you don't, you don't. I mean, I'm not going to sit here and I'm not going to defend the show. I'm not going to sit here and continue trashing the show because again, I'm still going to watch it. I'm still going to give my opinion. If you don't like my opinion, then don't watch me. Don't listen to me. And same thing, if you love the show or you hate the show, again, you're going to have your own opinion, again, whether if it is good or bad. Again, I'm not saying the show is perfect. I'm not saying the show is good. But the show, 1 out of 10, I'm giving it maybe a 2 right now because they need to improve. They need to seriously, massively improve. They need to, re if they got to recast to help save this show, then that is fine. If they need to have where Chief barely talks and is Cortana control, then fine. But at the same time, I want to still hear Jen Taylor as fucking Cortana. I still want to hear that. Maybe she's talking to Kai. Maybe she's talking to other characters to show that, hey, you know, um, yeah, John's not here, but I'm trying to bring him back. So, again, I don't know. But let me know what you guys think about this down in the comments and what you guys thought of the season. What do you guys think about getting picked up for season two? And I'll see you guys, as always, on the next one.